Hi everybody and welcome back to Hex Token Channel. Hope you guys are enjoying yourself. This Hex.com site, of course, this is uh, the heart of Hex. And so we're just going to have a look at what we're on. We're on day number 695, can you believe it? It's an only five days away till 700 days. Amazing. And of course, the two-year anniversary coming up on the 2nd of December uh, 2021. So uh, awesome stuff. Two years. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Let's get into today's results, folks. And let's go. So a day 695, the 27th of October, uh, the, the snapshot price after 24 hours was 25.3 cents. And this is about half an hour ago. And uh, the it, it's down 9.2, so a pretty decent uh, fall today. Uh, but we've had four, four of those in a row after having two rises. And uh, then we obviously had back there nine days ago, we had 90.3% rise. Uh, so 25 still uh, just touching the bottom of the range there um 27 is the range that's just below that so might be moving into our bearish scenario that we've got in the pricing video i'll post the link in the video description that we're either going to move sideways in a range of between 27 and 33 or we were going to slide down up to about mid uh, mid november and the reason for that um uh, i've argued is because of uh the time of the pulse chain um, so obviously software is a difficult thing and the, currently the pulse chain test nets on at the moment so uh, we've got a different time saving. So currently my time frame for that, uh, assuming a very good fast test net, uh, would be mid late October just before Christmas Eve. Now some people have obviously talked about possibly in January or February, uh, but let's uh, be, let's just put it in for mid late December at the moment because I know Richard would probably be pretty keen to get it out towards the end of this year. Uh, and uh, although you know a new start might be good too, but I think that probably towards the end this year would be uh, preferable. Uh, all right, so here we are with the ROI uh, for, compared to the fourth, uh, sorry, fifth of uh, January 2020. Uh, sorry, yeah, 2020 is 4,489, so still up mad crazy gains. Uh, payout per T-share uh, 5.762. Uh, now, the interesting thing about this price as well, this 25 or so, is it's about half uh, from the all-time high, so down 50%. So uh, payout 5.762, uh, which is about average uh, as well uh, in terms of the payout for T-share, and that's what you're wanting. If you're investing in staking in Hex, you want that beautiful T-share rate. T-share price, 4,852. As I say, uh, the lower the price, obviously, the better, uh, the more T-shares you can get. So if you're wanting to pick up that stake and get that sweet return, remember it's somewhere like 40% or, or more, that, uh, with its interest plus penalties. Uh, so the base interest rates are around about 36, 37%. Uh, T-share is now 19,144. Wow, up 35 to date. That's a big increase over the last 10 days. Uh, we've had some nice little increases. You asking why I say this is nice? Well, because it makes it more expensive to get a T-share. And uh, so two things affect the T-share price, even though it's cheaper today at 4,852. One is the, uh, the HEX share rate, and the other one is the HEX price. That's what determines... Uh, the, the share price when you're trying to get a t-share and of course you can do long stake longer check my video yesterday on how to stake hex on metamask uh, and of course that talks about staking longer gets you more t-shares that's the only really way to offset it and you get 20 percent more uh, a he effective hex uh, for your staking or your principal uh, e each year and so that goes up to 10 years of course uh, so you know 200 nice all right so uh, that's pretty much it so a big increase today nice i like that i'm heading towards 20,000. that's what i want all right average stake length uh 5.76 uh that's awesome it's pretty stable and of course the apy rate which is the other measure that we look at 36.97 as i said this is kind of the base rate for interest uh, obviously we get penalties so i'm suggesting that penalties are probably lower today liquid uh, 110 um, uh, million uh, hex in there. I want to get that back under 100, just like probably all of you do. Uh, so we had four days of that rising. So it's going in the wrong direction at the moment, but we're still up not too bad at 25.3 cents. Liquidity pool, 23, uh, 27.9 uh, million uh, USD. Uh, so still holding up there. I'd rather us be over 30 mil. That's much better. And I pulled ETH 892. So still holding up pretty well, uh, but obviously uh, we've got a 50% pullback from the all-time high. All right, total locked... Uh, total lock value is 15.94 billion down with the price market cap 145 billion down with the price and uh, t-share market cap uh, 53.56 down with the price and the total t-shares 11 million 38 thousand up 100 1295 
God, more stakers are nice. We'll, we'll take that. All right, uh, so total supply, 635.5 billion uh, hex. Emitted inflation, 10.6 uh, million hex. Uh, that's the inflation rate, remember, is six, uh, 3.69% or up to uh, that point. Uh, circulating supply is 572.7 billion, and uh, that's up 18.1 uh, million. So obviously that's a bit more uh, available for any, any sell pressure. Uh, stake supply, 62.8 to 62.8 um, billion and of course if you're a staker you're in there with that staked in the exchange down seven and a half million uh interesting stuff there uh so we've got some people st staking longer but some people pulling out some uh, got maturing stakes we're actually expecting quite a bit of this to happen actually in in uh, october november with the big staking candles uh let's jump past the ga numbers let's go straight to our headline number of stake percentage uh 9.89 so near all-time highs uh the highest one we've had in the last day is 9.9 it's actually pretty high it used to be down like you know 6.9.4s, uh, 9.5s, something like that. Uh, now we can actually go back in time on here. Of course, we're just showing the last 10 days, but we've got all 695 days showing on this table. Uh, and uh, what else we've got? Uh, payout per hex. So uh, people that are stakes earning hex, they get the hex at the end of the stake, of course. And that's stake early unstake, and in that case, we get the penalties. So that's uh, 63.6 million uh, hex paid to stake. It's nice, and 811,000 uh, of penalties, which is actually not too bad. Um, so uh, typically, we get these sort of penalties, 270, 300. But obviously, with the bit of, well, you've got the price moving down, you're going to still get some pretty decent uh, penalty days. So uh, not too bad there. Uh, not always the case, though. Uh, total holders are 375,561, up 326. Nice. Uh, given the price is going down, people should be able to pick up a bit more bags. So nice to see the holders. Uh, stakes, 67. Uh, and this is a bit, bit weak the last two days, so not, not the best, but 69,377. Still growing, but I would rather us grow, uh, you know, by 300 or something or more. That'd be pretty nice. All right, so change in total stakers, 85,629, up 106. And also a soft day today. Uh, but still growing. That's the key, right? Uh, change in current holders, 86 and uh, 263, 346. Uh, so there we are. You can see some of our high numbers, 500 back here uh, eight days ago. And now we're down here at 69. So we are getting a little bit of weakness. Now we do know that in, in crypto, uh, price attracts a lot of people. Obviously, there's a ton of uh, uh, at least 10 to 12 solid uh, uh, Hex YouTubers and a lot of other YouTubers on top of that. Uh, and of course, they do a big, great job in spreading the word. Uh, but, uh, you know, that we definitely want to get our, our the price is the most important thing and to get people attracted to it. Uh, so obviously we're in the in the downside of, of uh, the next parabolic move, and I'm sure we'll start heading towards that $1 uh, at some stage, probably when we get the Pulse Chain news is my, my, my guess. Uh, so very cool. Uh, now uh, let's quickly jump over to the current price, of course. And uh, we've got market cap here. Uh, the, actually, the market's down to 4.5% at the moment, down to 2.7 trillion. Uh, Bitcoin uh, uh, broke the 60,000 instead of moving up to the 70, 80, 80,000 market. It has decided to break down, but this could be a, a, a bit of a fake. We'll see how it's uh, always uncertain in crypto. Uh, Ethereum at 3,944, down 5%. And Hex, of course, the real time price now, not the snapshot. Uh, is 25.47, so up slightly uh, from the snapshot price, but down 9.47% over over the last 24 hours. 145.9 billion uh, is the market cap and volume looking okay at 24 million. Uh, the transparency volume always the best, right? 84% compared to the two leaders there. Nice. Let's jump out of there and let's go look at the charts, folks. Uh, so we've got uh, in the Uniswap pools, we've got 45 plus 41. That's... Uh, 86.7, uh, so still holding up pretty strong there as a, a US dollar uh, dominated. Uh, so that makes it sort of quasi stable. Uh, it's a loose term, but that's uh, where it's at. Uh, T-share price definitely up, obviously with the price up slightly. Uh, 48850, uh, 8000 X up. And of course you can see the chart there just pulling back. I mean, we have every time we have a parallel move in the price, uh, you can see that here, uh, when the price moves down, you can see up this that the T share price moves down. Remember, the share rate always uh, the share price always moves up, but the, the share rate always uh, goes to back down with the price. Uh, so you can go to, uh, back here on our last parabolic rise. You can see it went up, and then it starts pulling back. But it's got the under, this price is, hex price is only one component of it, a big one, of course. Uh, but uh, as it goes up here, you can see it's we've had all that rising and then suddenly start pulling back with that little pullback. So we definitely broke out of this range at the stage. We're at the top of uh, a bearish decline. Uh, so where would I say that would go? Uh, I think in my analysis, we're talking at, uh, from memory from my video, which I can leave in the video description, we're looking down at about uh, 
17 cents from memory. Uh, it was a few days ago since I did that one, so I will post it in the link. All right, but the share, the other component, of course, the share price is up and to the right. This chart shows it's just getting more expensive. And of course, today we had a good one, 35 uh, hex more to get a T-shirt like that uh, as well. Uh, so if you're staked, you're going to like that because it just uh, it makes it more expensive. It means people have to get more hex on the market to to uh, to get their T-shirt. Nice. All right, so the uh, share share uh, payout, of course, is, which is what we love, uh, is just pretty steady today. All right, uh, looking at 10 minutes there, so let's uh, jump over to, I've got the my favorite one on Hex.Vision. This is the next three months. Instead of the 15-year view I normally show, uh, I've thought I'd pull up the next three months uh, up again. So we've got uh, this big candle coming up on uh, the 1st of November, so we're pretty sweet all the way through the next couple of days. Uh, we've got this one here coming out uh, first and second, so we'll watch out and see what happens to that candle. And of course, uh, let's have a look at this one. This one here, uh, we've got for half a million, uh, uh, sorry, half a billion hex here, uh, just over half a billion there, and just uh, about 570 billion there coming out. Uh, so we'll see that most of that should get restaked. Uh, like I say, we've got a lot of uh, short term stakers, uh, hex OG is doing, doing the rolling over every month type of thing. Uh, and of course, uh, we should, some of that will always get uh, staked out longer uh, into the 15 year view. Uh, let's have a look at this. Uh, so we've got uh, yeah the next one probably this one here uh, that's 476 million that's the second of December so quite a big gap so here uh, this comes into my thesis about the about the middle of of uh, November being good especially if we get pulse chain news this could be the price running running down in here and then start picking up uh, and even though we've got this candle on the second of December uh, 476 million. Uh, we don't have a pretty good free run all the way through to the 17th of December uh, before this big stake here. So this is the supply side, of course. We still need the demand side to pick up, uh, but uh, I think this just gives a chance for the demand side uh, to really pick up, especially obviously supercharged if we get the pulse chain news as well. I'm sure uh, Richard is working hard on that. Obviously, we've got the next uh, last candle uh, uh, is really the big one is uh, this one on the 1st of January. Then after that, it's pretty sweet. So we'll just see how many, uh, what happens to these candles, how they stake in the future. Uh, it's going to be interesting. Most of them should just roll over. All right, so that's pretty cool. 12 minutes we're in. And of course, here's the bots for today. Last 24 hours, 2.2 uh, million hex, uh, 600,000 sold. So this uh, does have a way on the on the price at the moment. Uh, 340, uh, 396 so there's two of them 15 hours ago, another one and a half million hex, 384,000. Some weak paper hands there. And of course, here's another one. Uh, someone actually staked 862,000 uh, US dollars. Three, oh, wow, that's fantastic. Almost a million bucks uh, for uh, 10 years. Five hundred. That's, so that's huge. So even though we had these two negative things in the short run, uh, we got this really positive staking here. 500 T-shirts and nice. Uh, remember, it's always getting more expensive. Then we had another one here, 1.1 1 .1 sold. So uh, three three cells there and then we had another big stake at 1.5 uh, million US dollars wow uh, for 2838 days so some a mixed bag there of good news short term a uh, bit of a hit there with the sales but uh, long term brilliant stakes really brilliant stakes so that's from the bot uh, there very cool let's have a look here uh, what else we got uh, 1.5 million just stake for the four uh, 4,254 days, so nine, almost a thousand t shirts. Wow, so some really mixed bag news there. Short term, not so good, long term, very good. Uh, so very nice. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Please subscribe, like, share, hit the bell, and of course, you're gonna get some more quality videos coming from this channel. And I will see you soon. Yeah, help share the channel, it's gonna help a lot of people. All right, take care now.